Page 26, Finlandia, a very famous orchestral piece. We played this piece in orchestra many times. I encourage you to go listen to orchestra plays. Orchestras play it. And uh, there's recordings all over, I'm sure. It's, it's pretty. 4-4 four, four time, two sharps. Now we're in the key of D major. Make sure you can do the D major scale at least one octave up and down. Two would be better, but at least one. And while you're there, go ahead and do the scale for B minor. It also has two sharps. You just as well learn that scale too, at least one octave up and down. I got videos on those. Just do what I say in the video. Let's check things out carefully, one hand at a time here. Starting here, sort of. There's only three beats in the first measure. Well, every measure's got to have four beats in it. And you look at the bottom of page 27 expecting to see a measure with one beat in it, and it ain't there. Well, doesn't have to be. The song ends at the end of the second line, and if you'll notice, that has one beat in it. That's where the beat is. The point is we're coming in on beat two. It doesn't matter where the other beat is, but we're coming in on beat two. So here's two. Two, one. And they want here. If you can't do that, you have to reach down and do that. I want to connect this melody, which is the top note of the first, uh, top note of the right hand is what I'm trying to say. And the dotted rhythm in the third measure, or the second full measure, next to the last measure on the first line. Ugh. One, two, three, and four, and one. And you hold that down for four counts, so you do that again. Let's go down to the third line. You're here and then reach it, just come up, move. One, two, three. Three and four. This is really the rhythm throughout, pretty much. Fourth finger. Now, if you don't want to do, well, they're both black keys, you can get away with it. Here, it doesn't matter. You can be up here when the, all the keys involved are black. And then you just lift up and move. They got three, five, and two, four. It's okay. You can also just lift up and, and do two, four immediately. It's a new phrase. They don't have phrasing in here, but I'm telling you it's a new phrase. They got some slurs, but they're not phrases. Let's go down to the third line on page 27. Basically, it's the same thing we had before, but you're an octave higher. Now, this is a little harder to see what's going on because both hands are in the upper staff. You see the bottom staff is empty? They've taken all the notes in the lower staff and they moved them to the upper staff. They didn't have to do that. They could have put the lower staff in treble clef and left the notes for the left hand in the lower staff but they chose to do this anyway. You're going to see either one. you got to be prepared for either one, so whatever. It's that stem's going up, the right hand's playing them. The stem's going down, the left hand's playing those. That's how you tell the difference here. So just be aware of which hand is playing which notes. I only use that as a guide because as I'm doing it, if I find it easier for the other hand to help out, to play a note maybe, then I'll do that. For instance, if I need the left hand to play a note that's in for, written for the right hand, I'll do that. If whatever is, makes it easier for me. Left hand at the beginning, four here, because we're going to connect this here. Reach down, four, three, and then a four again. sort of a counter melody or a melody in harmony with the melody. Does it make sense? And then third line, just reach up and move up. It's this. It's sort of what we're after here. And then come down, just lift up, move. Stay there, and that's time.
five. This is that last two measures on page 26. The first beat is here, and then here, and that's tied, so you don't play it, you hold it down. Two, three, four, and. That's F, F sharp, A sharp. So again, it's one, and two, and three, and four. Let's make sure we understand the rhythm here. The first beat is the first quarter note. The second beat is the next quarter note. The third beat is the tied quarter note. And the fourth beat is the dot. So the half or the eighth note comes on the end of four. So it's one and two and three and four and like so. That's how that works. Now you do that some more. Third line down, well, they put the left hand up here. It's the same fingering we had before, but just an octave higher. That's all. Put the hands together, and again, you're just trying to get this fingering worked out. So don't worry too much about rhythm right now. You go through and work it out. I, I'm sure I don't need to play it all for you. You can read this music. If you can't read this music, if you're finding this more too difficult, you really need to go back to the previous book and the method book. Go back and kind of go through it and learn to read the music. Don't be in a hurry to get this done. It doesn't work. As far as the articulation goes, it's all pretty much connected except the eighth notes they want staccato. Short. Nice boom boom here. So the First line there, the last two measures. Just nice short, bump, bum, that's all, all the way through there. Otherwise, you pretty much connect it. You can find where the phrases are. You can hear the musical sentences. You can lift up between them in the right hand. The left hand, you need to make as legato as you can, as connected as you can all the way through. The dynamics, well, they apply to the melody. See, I would connect all this. I would not lift up. And then I lift up. It's a new frame. Connect this. And then here. See, I'm doing it by the phrases, not by their slurs. Let's go. I got off on articulation. Whatever you think moderately soft. Everything else needs to be soft or very soft. You don't have to stay exactly moderately soft. You can get a little louder and softer after you get to know the piece well enough that you can get into it and start feeling it. That's fine, just stay in that area. In the third line, now we're gonna come up to moderately loud. So the first major is here and then get louder. There's moderately loud. And then there you have a decrescendo to come back down. Well, the piano will do it for you. Just listen to it, how much it comes down, match that in the next measure, however loud that is. Kind of soft now. On top of page 27, you do it again, back up to moderately loud. In the right hand, the left hand is still soft. Listen to that decrescendo on its own and match that for the second line. And then a poco retardando. Slow down a little bit. It's up to you, not much, just a little bit. Then the second line, or the third line, excuse me, is like an echo. And then, listen to the orchestra do it. It's like an echo, very soft. Again, I would connect. I still want that. But otherwise, I would connect. And then you lift up for the phrase. I connect that. And you're going to crescendo up to moderately loud. Because you go back to the sign. DS means go back to the sign. The sign is the third line on page 26. Between the first and second measure, you go back to there. So here. And the fine is at the end of the second line on page 27. You play it there. 
Now speed, lento e espressivo. Well, we've had that espressivo thing again. Again, that's interpretation. That's after you get to know the piece and you're comfortable with it and you're getting into the music. Then you add the expressively. That's the dynamics and all. Lento is slow. It's the feel of the piece. It's slow, not the beat. Just nice and slow and leisurely. Don't drag it because that just... Please, we'll never get done with this. No, don't drag it. Let it flow. But don't flow too fast. There's no set speed I can tell you this is it. It's just slow, but not too slow. Huh? Oh. Now, we need to do something with this. We want overtones. It's an orchestra piece, so we need to connect it. So we got to have pedal on that. And it's pretty much like... They're showing you it's overlapping, so the notes go down first and then the pedal, and I change the pedal after I play the notes. But we lift the pedal for the staccato notes. Just as you play the staccato note, lift the pedal up for that, and then put it down after you play the next note. That's really the way the pedal works. I lift the pedal up with the phrasing, with the right hand on the phrases, so I can hear the phrase. Let's play it together. I'd say slowly, but it's slow anyway, so okay. I'll give us five counts, a full four counts, because a four-four time plus one, because we come in on beat two. We're not going to do any dynamics, but we will do the DS Alfine stuff. I'll try and pedal it as I suggest. Actually, I'm pedaling it pretty much like they're saying, so that's okay. So let's just try it together. One, two, three, four, go. Four, 
three.